Hey guys, it's George here. So today we're going to learn how to paint some cars. Uh, this has been a question I get asked a lot is, you know, how do I paint a car? Uh, mainly for the Roblox community, most of the people in the NR community already know how to do it. But this is how I do it. Um, I do not use GIMP, I use paint.net. Uh, with that I have the PSD plugin so I can open up PSDs. But, you know, you can get all that kind of stuff on your own. Um, First things first, obviously you need to open up a layered template. Uh, today I'll be opening up a wheel and modified template for a series on Roblox. So you'll notice down here that we have all sorts of different layers. Uh, I compromised a lot of these layers down into each other uh, just to make it easier to work with. Um, so the ones without checkboxes are not currently showing. Uh, so if I uncheck the Chevrolet, the Chevrolet logo goes away there. I can bring up Bowtie or Corvette. For this one, I'm going to use the Corvette. Uh, chrome chassis is being used to do that right there, that little bit of chrome area. Uh, so if I wanted chrome chassis on this car, I would do that. Um, but today I'm just going to have a white chassis on this. So... If you hold down shift and then um, click with a color, um, that'll fill it. So your primary, which is on the left, is uh, left click. Your secondary on the right here is uh, right click. To change either of these, um, if you're selected on primary, you choose red, you know, that'll change that. If you click on the, the secondary and then you choose a different secondary, you can do that. And uh, until you finish the, the changing of the color, uh, you can change it right here. Um, typically how I get it to finish is you just select a different tool. Um, so then your wheel well layer here, um, if you open up the, my Cavalier template, I actually named this Leave Alone. I didn't do that here. Uh, that's just your normal things like fuel cell springs, A-arms, all that the wheel well itself, the inside, the air filter, stuff you don't want to really mess with. Uh, contigs are usually your small decals. Uh, for this, the only thing in the contigs are the two series logos right there. And then chrome body is if you want to add some flare in there, you get that kind of metallic -y texture look to it. Um, typically I'll use that for only certain parts of the decaling to try to give it a little more pop. So. I'm thinking about going with a black car to offset the. It's in my secondary. Um, I was thinking about going with a black car, however, to offset the white chassis, and then give it some red lines. So now I want to keep the body color all one color. So you can use this button down here to add a new layer, and then I will use the line tool to be able to draw up some lines. And then you can use the circles here to give it some curve. So I'm thinking right about there. And then I can move this over here. Help maneuver around some of that. Um, and then we can make it thicker by doing the brush width. That looks pretty good to me. Um, and then I want to make another layer to go underneath that. I will do a lasso select. Just kind of come right along through this red line. And then select that entire area right there. And then get white and fill that area with white. So now I have this nice little design going for me here. And then I will bring both the layers down into each other to keep them together. And then, because I want to flip this design to the other side, you'll want to do a box select, grab this whole thing from the left to the right, and then just line up the line right with the bottom of the car. And then we'll copy that, and we'll paste it into a new image. Now from here, what you do is you go to image, and then flip it vertically, and then recopy it. And then you're going to want to zoom in. 
I'm doing this with control and then mouse wheeling. And then if you line up the top of the screen right there with that edge of the car, and then you paste it in, you'll paste it right on the edge of the car. Sometimes you might want to just move it up slightly just to make sure it really covers the edge of the car. So now that that's done, I think I would also like to give myself a white rear end just to match the white sides. Um, and now I would like to put on some decal, some numbers, that kind of stuff. So we'll jump over into Google Chrome. Uh, I'm thinking about a Kyle Busch number 18 on it. So we'll look up that. And then this is pretty simple to do with paint.net. So you'll just find one that has a background color that's all the same. So this one will work pretty well. And it's a pretty high quality because it's a thousand by a thousand. Um, I mean, you can have poor quality ones that are large pictures, but you can see the quality is pretty good. And it's a large pic. Eh, it's a little jagged at the bottom. So maybe try to find another one. It looks really blurry. That one will work. So we'll copy that. We'll bring back over to paint.net and paste it into a new image. We don't want to paste it into our image yet. So now using the wand tool, you can click on areas that you want to select that are all the same color. Uh, usually I turn up my tolerance a little higher, um, but not too high. And then if you hold down shift and you click one color, you can select all of that color. So here I'd be selecting all of the white, um, which is fine for this. And then I'm only going to select the black outline. I don't want the small black outline. I'm only going to select that bit there. And then we can go to edit and invert selection to get rid of that small black outline. And lastly, just fill back in the white area here. Um, however, I don't really want white on the white. So I think I'm going to fill the black in with red. And then this will work good for a roof number, but I want one that's different for the side, so we'll paste a new one. And I want black on the inside, or on the sides. Uh, now what I like to do to try to get the best quality out of it is because paint.net will actually scale for you, and it will try to save the image as best as possible. So I want the max height of this to be a hundred so we'll just go down here and resize and go to 100 height or well this is our roof one for our door one we want about a hundred height so now we will paste that into a new layer you don't want it on top of the design layer if you paste it into the design layer and you try to put it over see that happens it tries to take the transparency out of that area so we'll paste it into a new layer and bring it right down in like that and then we will flip it around and do it for the other side as well and then lastly I need to figure out how much I want on the roof so about 150 I'd say. So I don't want to take up too much of the roof. Looks like the number is pretty long. So I guess we'll take a length measurement. About 175. We'll resize the width this time. And that will match in pretty nicely. And then I want to put my name on it. So I'll do that like so. And then, you know, choose whatever style font text you want. Um, I have this gray Malkin. 
It's a much longer form of text, but I like it. So now we will grab that, flip it around in a different image, and repaste it back in to put on the other side. And now, lastly, to really make the car my own, uh, I need sponsors for it. So, following the Kyle Busch idea here, we'll do Z-Line Designs. It's a, one of his sponsors he used to have. It fits the red and black uh, Z-Line Designs logo. Um... We'll use this one. Just go ahead and bring that in now. And then make sure to only get the Z line designs. I don't really want to bring you the best of what you want. And then hold down shift and click and take all of the red away. However, I'm putting this onto a white area for the most part, so I'm going to go ahead and invert colors. It'll make it automatically black because it was white in the first place. And then I just want to put it into the quarter panel area, so about a 70 height should do. Uh, hopefully that's not too wide. And I can bring this into the number area as long as I don't get it too close to the number. If you get into the number, you do the same thing as the design. That looks pretty good. Uh, you don't want your logos to be too big, but obviously, obviously you don't want them to be too small either. That should be just about right. Uh, the black holes there on the car can see right in that area and down there as well is where the bars come in for the nerf bars of this car. So you don't really want to put them in the nerf bar area, you want to kind of be out in its own area. And then I want it much bigger around the rear end, um, about 125 height. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Put that right there, and then I feel like having the number on the back too, it's kind of a typical modified thing to do. Just height, about 50 or so. Well, it's going to be wide, so. Yeah, about 65 width. Put that right there. And then I do want to put the Z-Line design, well, I want to kind of, you know, divvy it up a little bit. So, I'll drop a NOS logo as well. This fits well with the NOS Rowdy these days. Uh, usually when I do NOS logos, I usually like to actually use one of these, uh, even though I'm not going to use the orange background, but it helps me get a NOS logo that has an outline already on it. We'll just select that whole area there and crop it. And then get rid of the orange. Um, in this particular case, I don't want to get rid of all the orange because it kind of picks up where the black and the white come together as orange. So we'll delete that part first. And then the tolerance is a little too high. It's over selecting. Bring that down some. Get out of the rights restricted area. And then in this particular case, I'm going to uh, make a red on the inside and then white on the outside. And this is a much longer logo than it is tall, so about 125 width. pretty good. Lastly, I'll put one kind of in this back area here. 
It's about 175. And that will make my car. Now, we're not quite done yet. So, if you save it as a PSD file, you can't upload it straight to Roblox. So, you'll need to make it something that Roblox can handle. Uh, if you're doing this for NR, you're going to either want to make it a .bmp or a .tga. Those are kind of low uh, file structures, so we'll be saving it as a PNG. But before we save it, first things first, you're going to want to save it as a PSD version. Uh, so that way you can go back and edit it whenever you want. So I'll just make this NOS 18. And save. And then, while making it a flat version, turn off the mask. You want to do that so that way gray lines don't appear kind of randomly on your car. And then save it as a PNG. I'll just name it George18. And then you can do all this kind of stuff if you'd like, but you don't really have to. And then you're going to want to make sure to flatten it. And then after that, you're all done. That's, uh, that's the full scheme, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.